Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you on the day of Saturday, October the 19th, 2024. And as you see the vision today, it's again of a most unconditional form of love. First and foremost, you might actually be doubting yourself and doubting your ability to manifest and to bring forward what you need. You're dealing more with problems and forms of worry and fear rather than what you think is the ideal life in all realms of life. So just look into his eyes, first of all. This is Archangel Orion, the angel of miracles. He's literally the miracle keeper of heaven. And in the Akashic spaces, in the library of the Akashic spaces, he works with Archangel Raziel to bring forward what we consider as impossible on earth. So you are not non-deserving of anything. You just need to realize how to taper yourself. You can say you mold yourself like cheese or like cake. How you need to be to bring forward what you think you need. And it is not incorrect to think what you need is incorrect also, first of all. You're blaming yourself, so do not also sit and censor your dreams this day. Really feel your heart through, through his eyes first, and feel the love of the cosmos, the love of the universe, the love of Creator as Divine Father, as Divine Mother, pouring through those eyes into you. And then there's a veil of light, a cocoon of light, a robe of light surrounding you. And you now can feel many forms of stars twinkling within you, within your feelings, within your room, within what you're focused on. Whatever problem you think you, you're surrendering into the hands of Archangel Raziel, and Archangel Orion. Just take a moment to enjoy that, that sense of support and security. It will not be lost, and you can keep on calling upon it for the most, what you think is the smallest of reasons. Nothing is superficial in the eyes of the angelic forces. First and foremost, they want you to also recognize the fact that you will never receive this help without your desiring it completely from your heart, enjoying the process, and not thinking that you're doing something that is sinful or incorrect. Let that feeling also drop away because the angels are very bound by the ethics of the cosmos and the eth one of the supreme ethics of the, this God-gifted universe we have is a free will. We will never be dominated or we'll never be just asked to receive something that will be harmful, hurting you in some way or taking away from what you're supposed to express, enjoy, understand, feel, all of that. So destiny is very much intertwined with your wishes, with your desires, with where you direct your focus. And your mind and emotions this day are in this form of conflict, really, that your mind might hesitate from making a decision or is more focused on problems than desires and then feels that that is the priority. And so you just don't even think about desires, like for, forget about that, that's fantasy. That I'm not supposed to have all those, those things, I'm just supposed to do and do and do. You're not supposed to do till you just fall off. So your heart this day, if it's in conflict with an activity 
or a decision you have to make. It doesn't mean that you stop giving attention and paying attention to your family or responsibilities, wherever it is that you are asked to focus on within your physical body first and foremost. Recognize that. Your chakra points really will be your telling, you can say, windows this day. You will not be able to go forward without paying attention to that because it will just be so obvious, be it a stomach ache or a cold and cough or you have some form of an illness that just does not seem to go. It's like a telltale pat- pattern that just keeps on re-emerging throughout the day or problems with sleep. All of these are telltale signs. First and foremost, heal those, and Archangel Raphael will very much support that process. Archangel Orion is there for this day to enhance this capacity, to invite the miracle, thought forms, and the miracles to you. They're not going. They're, in fact, getting stronger by your recognizing them and working with them this day. Think of it that way. Because remember the angelic forces... Even if they come in a card form, they come only to tell you that they're there, that they're present, that there's so many flowers, just recognize the flowers and just remember which one is what and for what purpose you are supposed to use it and when. But it's very much there for you. And then if you see then back to the vision here, there's so many bubbles Tree ball bubbles of energy coming through the universal landscape of the sky that seems to be the night sky. It's not the night sky. It's just the cosmic sky sending bubbles, thought forms, ideas, healing, recognition, remembering, awareness, whatever form you want to bring this tree ball to you for. Enhancement of love, movement, where there's maybe stagnancy within your life and you're just stuck on finding a solution or you want to be aware of how deserving you are and you've forgotten even that, all of that is changing. Because see, each one, each tree ball here has different sizes So the one that captures your attention at first might be the priority and will move towards you in what seems a more rapid fashion because it's your priority. It doesn't leave your attention, you can say. You're just going on thinking about that or feeling it or recognizing it or experiencing it as, as an event in a situation, in a pattern, whatever it is. No questions ever with the angelic forces, right? Just recognition and what to do with it and how to use it to best effect. All you are doing is receiving, enjoying, and becoming more and more gratitude-filled, you can say, grateful, thankful, happy. Because it's just coming in such rapid fashion also. That perhaps for some it'd be like, it's too fast. I, I, can't, I can't recognize which one is what and I'm not so aware. Ask, ask for his help to become aware and to help change that maybe. Maybe you're hiding from what is meant to come to you and you don't even recognize that. And you're just self-sabotaging yourself. That's okay, you're not meant to do everything by yourself. You're supported. You're held. You're guided, and that too towards the best future for you. You just keep thanking. And simple words, no rituals, no great prayer, no great recognition of great beings of light. It's all there within his face and within his being and with every angelic force that is there. Just ask if you even run out of words, guardian angel, helper, Four, Archangel Orion, in your holy stars of angels, help me with. 
and then change it to your own customized need. Whatever it is that you need. Your words. You will not go wrong because you are coming as a child of God. And of course, if you add invocations and prayers with the holy traditions you hold dear, it becomes even stronger. Ancestry, family, everything is around you. Spiritual team, spiritual guides. So thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. He wants to give it to you so much. Such encouragement, such love, that it comes with an exclamation mark over here. That's how excited heaven is to hold the holy arms around you, the heavenly forces around you. Do not feel alone for even one moment. Diamond rays of light are also coming behind those tree balls to take on shapes, to go into situations, into places, or even into manifestation, points of manifestation in the future, healing the present even. The present will be different. It's literally a present, a gift given to you. And this day you're receiving that with hope, with faith. Nothing more you need. There's not a single thing you need to do or change in your past life or change this or change that. It's all done for you. And as you see the tree balls traveling then down his left side, the left side is changing the karmic baggage now that you carry. The burdens that you've held up for so long. The patterns maybe you keep on repeating for nothing. Keep on receiving that which you want to change, which you want to hold up, which you want to claim, which you want to enjoy now. Because see, it's blue. Power, love, capacity, creation. Grace. You're changing your world around literally. Ever so beautifully as... This seems to be hair. It's not hair. It's just heavenly hands holding you. Holding so close even to the way you perceive sound. How you invite light. How you invite love. How you invite perception what activities you choose to engage in, how you spend your time. It's all there, right? And ever so easily wrapping itself and cocooning itself as a robe around his body. Because that robe doesn't seem to have left or right, like which, which part of the robe is left and which part is right. It's just merging together. That's how surrendered you are and that's how protected, loved and guided moment to moment from this time forward just because you called upon him and you looked at the Akashic spaces. They will just decide what's best for you. Moment to moment, you don't even have to think about it. Which archangel? How do I go forward? Who do I call upon? What is it that I do? Just think about what your desires are, not your fears from this moment forward. That's what you do. Every time something comes up that does not work for you. I went quiet for a moment. Because even for me, as I share this with you, there are patterns that are coming up and I'm letting them go. Just to show you an example of how you can be, maybe you can be an example to someone and find confidence and courage and say, there's so much potential, there's so much within me I didn't even begin to see and understand. It's not about just being a spiritual teacher. Love, protection, power, 
You can surrender all kinds of things into the holy hands and change it around within your very immediate existence, your home. This point of when you're watching this video or experiencing this video, whatever comes up, again, you've changed it. You've changed something around immediately. If you have the capacity to do that immediately in the present moment, then of course you can go into the future guided, held, protected, and not giving into negativity and pessimism and darkness and sadness as your truth. Not repetitively going on saying that for yourself. Because look at his crown. There's no empty space there. He's just seeing and seeing and seeing what he wants to see. Each one of those stars represents a belief that comes up. And it might be an instantaneous image. It might be a connection to an angelic force. It might be something that you perceive as negative for you right now, but you see it changing because of the star. A relationship, a vacation, even a dog you want to buy, a flower, something like that. Everything is within reach. Everything is possible. And you might wonder why is one star then held up and the others are kind of blending into the background. It might be the one that is of priority to you right now. Take that as your thought of priority. That's what you need to focus on. And the other stars as helpers, action steps, people, situations, moments, places, rays of light, keepers of the light, helping to make this a reality and bring this into reality. That's why it's shining. And if it comes to you more than once this day, that's fine. Perceive it as important then. That doesn't mean you have to have a thousand belief systems that you want to clear and thousand wishes that you want to have granted. Of course, your heart is a feeling space, a sensitive space, a portal to heaven and recognizes what is important to you as a being of light, as a divine child. How you perceive love as being present in your world. That's fine. Because also, if you see how that star is being held up, there's movement then, removing obstacles and delays from the right side, and there are chi balls related to the same, coming in from the sky then, molding the divine ones, and the angelic forces are saying, here we are, the chi balls are changed, how you need it, what form of movement you need, what is it that you need to do. Because of course at that time you feel very weak and vulnerable. It's change. You don't recognize what you're supposed to be or are you doing the right thing or are you on the right path. Keep on asking. And they will come for you. Happy to be asked. Happy to be a service. And then you will feel your own eyes light up, just like his. Trust that. Maybe even ask for a sign at that time. Am I, am I perceiving this chi ball, this diamond from the sky as truth, or is it just going up in my mind somewhere? You will recognize it. You'll be able to even see in, if you're more inclined towards visual right now but if it is also something you have been shunning in the past not trusting your capacity to visualize this might be the time to open that up for you and for others it might be just enjoying and enhancing the capacity 
to visualize. Again, let your heart be a total companion through this process. Enjoying that, feeling it as true happiness, light-hearted happiness, which is what, is what it is meant to be, a journey with, with the absolute unconditional keepers of the light. That support, that love is even more obvious now. How easy it is to receive this from the angelic forces. That is what you're doing right now. Just being held, cocooned in waves and waves and waves and waves of love. And now you might say that that sounds very nice in the moment, but I'll go back to a troubled home, a car, bills to pay. What do I do with all of that? Let all of that actually come up. Whenever you try to soak in to this happiness, it seems impractical. Or it seems as something you should not even consider or think about. Why? Ask that question several times this day. Why? Why can I not be happy? What is the reason? The violet flame also will burn away. What doesn't serve you? What is old? You're growing as a soul. You're deserving as a soul. There's nothing you've done yesterday, yes, even one hour ago, that stops you, that disqualifies you from receiving heavenly love or being shunned by the angelic forces. It cannot happen. Be rest assured of that. Take a moment to enjoy that by looking at the what seems to be the black space on the right side of his hair. It's just all that is unnecessary for you to go into the future that is ideal for you. Being cleared, being cleansed. Maybe you receive knowledge this day. A phone call. Maybe you make a phone call and discover something. Maybe you take action steps towards a certain desire and see that there is movement coming, financial concerns, money coming in the bank, payments coming through, or you finding ways to make payments for debts that you hold. All of that will be cleansed and cleared and made very clear That's why it's coming so simply. Simple steps. Trust. Trust is simple today over all complicated matters. There's nothing you have to make an effort for to receive all of this love. It's just literally moving around you. Wanting you to accept it and wanting you to be loved and wanting you to feel the love and these miracles this very day regarding whatever you consider also as practical and real, tangible. It's not asking you to believe in something that is held in a movie that has no meaning for you. Your heart will recognize it. Your heart will know it. And you'll finally feel a sense of relaxation that maybe you have not had in several decades of existence. So Archangel Orion, just keep on saying this name throughout the day. Remember that he will not come forward, powerful as he is, with all the cosmic energies, with all the cosmic helpers around you. None of them will come forward without your asking. You're that precious. You're that important. So you will go forward into where you're meant to go forward to, where you want to go forward to, where your heart desires to go, feeling heavenly, feeling your heavenly identity, feeling your divine truth of whatever matter it is that is too complicated right now for you to understand or figure out. 
or problems that you just don't even want to solve. You just want to sit and just cry and do nothing. Let that also go. Surrender that. That's just a form of fear and the ego again rising. But let it rise. That at least means you're honest with yourself. Honesty is there. Where honesty exists, the divine ones can change and mold and bring forward what it is that you need, what is best for you for the next moment. These miracles, they're pretty much claimed in your Akashic spaces as you need them, when you need them, how you need them. Everything will move around specifically, be it a car to a mountaintop, whatever. Whatever it is that you need, you will get it. But deserving, you are. Receiving, you absolutely are. Filled with faith, you choose to be. And all of this cocoon of stars then on his face will change around to literally give you guidance and action steps. You will listen also to divine helpers speaking to you. So your ears, though it doesn't seem in, over here that he is listening to anyone, it's how you choose and how you invite and what you want help for. Because see, his whole face is filled up. That means he's saying, I give myself completely into your care, divine ones. And I believe every small thing you say, every small moment, you are there with me. I feel, I know, I invite, I sense, I surrender, I'm supported, I listen, I follow, I trust. Yes, I trust completely. And then you see then under his chin, the capacity to express what a lovely form and portal and doorway of the light has opened for you. You chose to receive, you chose to understand and claim, ask for, perceive, imagine. Of course you will be able to express exactly the way you need to, who you need to express to, how you need to express this day. Words will just flow. And if they're written, doesn't matter. If they're spoken, it doesn't matter. It's how you choose to be. Because Archangel Gabriel is very much part of this process now, of communication, vibration, and your chakra points changing themselves. You're rising into this cocoon of stars, and you're rising into who you're meant to be finally. You finally feel like yourself, perhaps in decades that this is a real me. No one has recognized this thus far, not even my own self. And now I know. Because see, his lips are also covered with these stars. So vocal expression, where it's difficult, or perhaps difficult conversations you need to have, will flow, will be easy. And meditation and prayer involving verbal expression will be helped, enhanced, guided, blessed in every way. So you are manifesting miracles for sure. Blessed Divine Daughter or Divine Son of the Light. You just surrender and let all of this cocoon of the sparkles, of the blessings just flow towards you and to you and you decide how you go forward. Your priority, just let your heart flow and glow with the light. It's like you're in a beautiful boat and it's being taken for you. And Archangel Orion will surely shine all of the stars within you, around you, where you see, where you perceive, what you experience, every single way you will manifest miracles. You cannot go wrong here. 
You just choose to receive and think it's important. And just share it with him if no one else. But be honest with yourself and don't let this opportunity be taken away from you. So thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. And this comes to you as angelic prayers through the angel prayers by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at K-Y-L-E-G-R-A-Y dot co dot U-K. And the superb flow and blessing that the angelic forces could give us this day comes to the artwork of Jason McCready. And Jason can be reached at V-E-C-T-R-A-I-T-S dot com. And this is Tina. Signing off for now. Bye-bye.